let's say we've got five pages that we directly or indirectly add links to. Go and look over the last probably three to six months. What was the growth in organic traffic, impressions, depending on where you are in a business's life cycle? What was the growth you saw for each of those pages that we were influencing with links directly or indirectly? How does that compare to the site's average? What that means is you can start to isolate out, okay, well, we earned this group of links. Some of them link directly to these pages. Some of them were passing link authority indirectly via internal linking. And we saw growth on this page, let's say, of 50% quarter on quarter or year on year. The site average might have been 20%. You're starting to get into a way that you can go, we're breaking it down a bit more granular. And I think, you know, a lot of things in SEO should be broken down a lot more granular. Looking at things site-wide rarely tells you anything useful. Start to break it down more granular, and we can start to have conversations and say, right, okay, this group of pages that we directly or indirectly influenced via link authority saw a growth of X, and this was X percent higher than the site's average. And I think it comes down to who is owning an overall strategy. There should be someone in any business owning an SEO strategy. That's an agency. Great. If it's not, if that's somebody in-house, if it's another agency, there has to be somebody directing, I am responsible for growth. As part of that growth, I need links. I need authority links. I need links on these topics from this type of sites. And I think in all honesty, all too often, agencies, digital PRs, they work the wrong way. Rather than going, what are the business goals? And, you know, I'm not, you know, at top level, that's going to be money in the bank, revenue. Waterfall that down to, okay, to hit those goals on the average order value conversion rate, I need this many sessions. Okay, then break that down more granular. What are my different options for driving that increase in traffic I need? Okay, let's say you break it down to go, right, okay, based on click-through rate averages, we can model that actually, if we can, you know, and again, we're talking about link numbers the same way we could talk about keyword rankings. They're a means to an end. But I think, you know, you then go, okay, if I can increase the average ranking of these 200 keyword variations that this page is visible for, based on click-through rate averages in this sector, you know, I think it's advanced web ranking that have a really great breakdown of click-through rate by sector, don't don't apply global averages use location and industry if possible you can start to model well if i increase this page or page group you know i'm not a big believer of focusing on single pages but focus on at topic level if we can increase the average ranking of this 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 and this we expect to get this much traffic 